Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 48th episode of Final Round. I'm Squeak Bud a Cowboy and this is Alan Jibby Gibson but Black. Tonight will be our predictions for UFC 118, Edgar vs. Penn 2. And we will finally discuss the old argument of can the boxer compete in the mixed martial arts world? First up in the welterweight division is between two very formidable fighters in Nate Diaz and Marcus the Irish Hand Grenade Davis both are eager to get up to the welterweight ladder. This has the potential to be a good fight, what do you think about this one Jibby? We all know what they are capable of, so I'm hoping for a standing war between these two. Diaz is coming off a big win against Markham, while Davis defeated Bullet. But you have to think with Davis losing against top guys, and with his age, that another loss may hurt him much more than it could. I think this will not go all three rounds, but I think Diaz will take it here. Up next here is the fight between Kenny Florian and Gray Maynard in the lightweight division. Two of the top guys finally will meet each other, and surely one of them will be next for the title match against the winner of the main event. It makes perfect sense, they are both the top of the lightweight, coming off good wins and really only have the top two left. If Florian wins he's beaten everyone apart from the two in the main event fight, if Maynard wins he's got a great record with beating Weirda, Diaz and the current champ Frankie Edgar. This is going to go down to Maynard's wrestling ability to stop Florian from getting the submission and the endurance of both fighters. Maynard can endure three rounds, but can Florian be as consistent? I think if Maynard keeps to his nickname then he'll get the win, but let Florian get the ground then it may be lights out. We now move on to the fight in the middleweight division between Nate the Great Marquardt and Rousima Palhaz. This is a big fight for Palhaz, since his loss to Dan Henderson, while Nate is back, after missing out on a title match with losing to Chiel Sonnen. Both are big fuckers with enough power to knock you out, but who has the upper hand? It's a close call I believe, because they are familiar strength-wise. But Nate's a striker and Rousimmer is a submission specialist, which for a big guy is pretty impressive. Rousimmer is going to have to shake Nate up, get control of him through some wrestling and Brazilian jiu-jitsu to get the submissions he wants. Nate needs to keep his distance and take advantage of his striking to get the fight in his favor. So we now finally move on to the sub-main event of the evening. A fight which I think everyone will be watching. Yes it's MMA versus boxing as Randy Couture takes on James Tony. Who will have the first laugh in this every growing debate between pros and fans alike. But more importantly who will win this fight? I will eat my own laugh testicle if Couture loses this. I'm not saying that because I want him to win, I'm saying that because this is his yard, his rules, not Tony's boxing yard. This is Dana White giving a big fuck you to boxing by putting Tony in with Couture. He wants to make an example out of him. Couture will take him down, fuck him around and submit him. He won't risk a standing trade with a boxer like Tony. If Tony wins this, I mean this would go on so much, it'd be the biggest upset in the UFC history. It could even retire Couture. But it's just so unlikely to happen, Couture wouldn't be that dumb to stand. It's now time for the main event of the pay-per-view and the much-anticipated rematch between Frankie Edgar and BJ Penn for the lightweight title. Edgar shocked the world with beating Penn in Abu Dhabi to take the belt. But what will happen here, Jibby? I was shocked Edgar won as I don't rate him as much compared to the likes of Sanchez, Florian and even Maynard. But he got the win and the belt at the end of the day. Edgar will all but stick to the same plans he did in their last fight, while Penn will just go for it. I'm still expecting Penn to dominate in every aspect, and I'm expecting to see Penn regain his lightweight title. So you don't think Edgar has a chance of successfully defending his title? Let's just say I think the judges helped him out there. But he'll be dealing with a more determined and vicious BJ. Penn will take this by stoppage, you'll see. That is it for final round today. We'll be back for predictions of UFC 119. See you all later.